Hey guys, Justin here from Bonafide Fishing and I'm gonna do an overview for the kayak I've been using for 2016. It's changed quite a bit since last time you've seen it. And there's a whole lot more cameras on it now. So I'm gonna show you the setup we have. It works exceptionally well. So I think you'll be interested to see. Up front, we have a Panasonic Micro Four Thirds camera. It's small, it's light, it's durable, it's tough. This thing has been all over the world and it still runs perfect. I actually really like it up here. It, with the short lens, it gets a wide view. It does fantastic. On the front, we also have a shotgun mic, always pointed at the kayak operator. It isolates the noise in a cone, so it only picks up what I say. We have a polarizing filter on it to cut glare off the water, so when I'm bringing a fish in, you can actually see into the water. That's fantastic. We have a hood that eliminates lens flaring. Next to that, I have a paddle float to assist with re-entry. If you fall in, you inflate it, you put it out on the end of the paddle, prop your paddle up against the boat so it doesn't tip over as you try to crawl in. Here you have a lip gripper, in case you catch a huge fish and you need to hold on to it so you can take pretty pictures of it. Right here, I keep a waterproof case that I have all my batteries and memory cards in. So I always know where they are. I can keep an eye on them. They're not going anywhere. Up here in the front is the first rod holder. That's where I keep the fly rod. This one actually works pretty well for fly rods. Scotty does sell a fly rod holder, but I've been happy with this one. So I stick with it for the time being. This kayak has footrests, which are adjustable like so, slide back and forth, whatever's comfortable when you're in the boat all day, that can be nice. Paddle holder, paddle leash, for transporting when you're fishing. When I'm fishing, I usually throw it in the water, kind of acts like a little bit of an anchor, it does the job. Next up is the seat, came with the boat. It's very, very comfortable. I sat in it for 16 hours, I was very pleased. Right here we have a fish ruler, so you don't have to break a ruler out every single time you want to measure your fish, which is nice. Next up, the most important part of kayak fishing, a very, very long net. When you're fly fishing out of a kayak, this thing will save your life, you won't tip over and you'll catch more fish. With a 10 foot, 11 foot rod, even when you're doing this, a short net cannot be enough. So this will catch you more fish. They can be expensive, but you don't necessarily need to catch and release one. They're all good, very important, and it floats. So when you're done, just throw it in the water, pick it up later. Next up in the back here, it's a pack. I don't always use it, but when I'm on open water, I do. Inside, survival pack, beacon, zip ties, tape, everything you would need, headlamp. If you fractured your boat, there's gorilla tape in here. You can save your butt, compass, pretty much anything you're gonna want in a survival situation is here. Emergency blanket. Next camera is the GoPro on a leash with a float for underwater. So once you're done with your fish and you're letting them go, stick it underwater, let the fish go. It floats, it's tethered, you don't have to worry about it. The back camera is on an extending monopod. It does get longer. I've always been happy with this angle. It's a GoPro back here. Nice, super wide overview. It's gonna be your primary camera when you're filming. It is just fantastic, GoPros, never cease to amaze, they never fail. They run for two hours without stopping. Occasionally they melt, but what are you gonna do? Back here is third or fourth rod holder where you could keep another fly rod if you're fly fishing or you could keep more rods, never have enough rod holders. Very easy to get into, very easy to get out of. If you wanted to, you could put a leash or a tether on it. I haven't had to worry about that yet. In the very back, we have a hold. When you're sitting sideways in the kayak, you can get to it. Keep whatever you want in it, ice, fish, drinks, beer, women, who knows. As we come around here, we have an anchor trolley. How this works, if you've never seen one, is you would leash your anchor onto the handle or this, put the anchor line through here. If you want to face water coming at you, you would run your anchor line through this one. So you can get to it here, you run it forward. Now your boat is facing into the current. If you wanna face with your tail to the current, you would hook it to this one and you run it to the very back. So you don't tip your boat over. And that's basically it. If you're looking for a 
very, very sturdy fishing kayak that's lightweight. I definitely recommend this one. This is a setup I'll be using all through 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go catch some fish.